Hello, uh, trading is closed on March 11th, 2021. It's disclaimer time. Uh, this is my trading plan for tomorrow, March 12th, 2021. I can be completely wrong. Trade at your own risk. Please follow the rules of my channel. My email is mejt.trades at gmail.com. I mentioned a few times about people who post on the channel saying how oh, they'll make you six times your money in three weeks, which I think is nonsense. It appears that YouTube is finally blocking these individuals and none too soon, if you ask me. We said that uh, either we gapped up, hit a new high, or else this was a negative pattern, but I said gapping up wasn't impossible. So we got that. Here's what we said. These are my calls for the rest of the month. I have personal business the rest of the month. I'm going to try to post every day, but if I miss one, it doesn't mean something bad's happened. I just have personal business. This is the pattern that normally has a high in the final hour. Failure is a straight line drop, and that is failure. Failure is normally followed by lower prices. Now, of course, we could gap up tomorrow, overtake this high, and then, and then that doesn't count. You won't know that until tomorrow, but if we don't gap up, if we don't gap either direction, I should say, and hit a new high, I look for lower prices, even though today's pattern generated a higher target of 39 58.23, that one might not work. Don't forget it, major changes in trend, which this is a candidate for. MJT almost always leaves a failed target. Here's the pattern that generated the failed target. Let's explain why this is a very negative pattern over the last three days. The public, in large part, trades right at the open. When you see gapping up at the open, that shows public optimism. Now, public optimism isn't always wrong. Sometimes the public's optimistic and the professionals are optimistic and prices just keep going up. But the end of the day is the time the public's mostly at work. People who wanted to trade already have. And trading in the last hour of the day is really dominated by professional traders. Of course, if there's a wall into the close, that's panic selling. I'm not talking about that. But if you've got like a steady decline like this, not a panic, into the last hour, it's normally professionals who are doing selling. So when you have public, you have when you have public optimism in the first hour going straight up, and professional pessimism in the last hour, it should lead to lower prices unless unless the public is still buying. If the public is still optimistic and buying, we'll gap up tomorrow and take out this this um, high. But at some point, the public's going to be wrong and the professionals are going to be right. And at some point, the pattern like this, the more days it repeats, the more negative it is because the more public buying has occurred and the more they're going to have to take their losses. Now, here was the old high. This is a bar which broke to a new high and closed under the old high. And that's negative. It's not negative enough to call a top. But if we, close, if we trade under the true low of this bar today, which is yesterday's close, 38.9881, if we trade under it, that completes what's called a 2B top. It's a false move higher. It's immediately reversed. 
all we need to do is trade it down. If that happens, it hasn't happened yet. If that happens, you need confirmation by going under the close of the bar under the low of this true range. In other words, one, in other words, one, one trade isn't going to do it. You have to confirm it the day afterwards. But if you go under the true low of this bar, which is yesterday's close, and confirm it, that completes a 2B top. And that should be the end of the leg, according to the theory. Hasn't happened yet. Until it happens, we could still gap up and go higher. There are different ways to count this. All the way up there have been ways to count this. It doesn't mean any of them are correct. But it does mean if we drop, you can explain it. I, I think this counts best as a five-wave structure. But if it's a five-wave structure, it can't be B. It would have to be A of B. It doesn't mean you wouldn't drop. It just means you'd have you come back later. But it's also possible to count this as an A, B, C. And um, if it is an ABC, that's the end of B. And I think each of these are valid counts at this point. But again, they're not the only count. And I have no doubt if we go up again tomorrow, there'll be some other count that works too. Just if there isn't a count, that probably isn't the top. So we have a kind of a critical, we have a critical juncture here. Unless we gap up, Overtake this high, this is a failure of a normally bullish pattern to close near the high. After gapping up, hitting a bunch of highs, closing under the highs, even under these lows, it's very negative. And particularly if we go under yesterday's close and follow through, this is a very good, this is a very good candidate for the end of this leg up. It hasn't been the only candidate. We've had candidates all the way up, but it's a very good one. If we don't, this is our target. If we don't gap down smartly, this target's in play. But remember, it can fail. If this is a top and it's a candidate, it can fail. But if we start going up, just look for this to print the resistance under that point. So tomorrow's open is going to be very critical. If we open down here and take this out fast, it's going to be pretty tough to recover for some time. Norm Winsky also has this as a change in trend based on astrology. I should tell you, I don't believe in astrology, but I do believe in results. And his results are about 80% accurate. And I do believe in cycles. And... Um, I think there are cycles in the market, and there are certainly cycles in astrology, so it's not totally unreasonable that somebody would find a relationship between astrological cycles and stock market cycles. Again, it doesn't mean you believe in astrology, it means you believe in cyclic activity. Okay, tomorrow's pattern has really low. I should have said we could gap up. And to think I proofread this. We could gap up. We have mixed signals. It's uh, positive. We have a higher target. Unless we gap down smartly, it's favored to print. Just remember the Meech AT almost always leaves a failed target had a major change in trend, so the risk of failure here has increased. It is negative. Today's normally bullish day failed. We had the straight line drop option. Unless invalidated by promptly overtaking today's high, lower prices should print. We have three straight days. You've gapped up, failed to hold the highs in the middle of the day. Eventually, when the, when the public gets tired of having us gap up, this should lead to a sizable drop. Undercutting yesterday's close, if it occurs, hasn't happened yet, would likely be enough to signal the top. You still need to get follow through. So tomorrow has the early low, mixed 
signal indicators, if we don't invalidate this promptly, taking out these highs, it should be trouble. And if we go under yesterday's low and confirm it, it should be trouble in a big way. And that's today's call.